Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Prashant and I've come up with another important topic for today that is Hodgkin's lymphoma. So Hodgkin's lymphoma is seen in young and old age group and most common presentation of Hodgkin's lymphoma is painless cervical lymph node enlargement. So there is painless cervical lymph node enlargement and also there is cyclical fever which is known as Pell Epstein fever. So when a patient has cyclical fever there will be rise in body temperature for certain duration it will come back to normal temperature and after a certain time period the patient will have rise in body temperature again that is fever comes after cyclical pattern after certain duration so it is also associated with two paraneoplastic syndrome the two paraneoplastic syndrome is secondary amyloidosis that is written as AA and alcohol induced lymph node pain so these two are paraneoplastic syndrome which is associated with Hodgkin's lymphoma now coming to the pathology to see how normal B cell gets converted into neoplastic cell as we have already said that Hodgkin's lymphoma is associated with Epstein-Barr Epstein virus infection so this Epstein-Barr virus it has a protein on its surface that is LMP1 protein that is latent membrane protein 1 which is present on the surface of Epstein-Barr virus now this protein gets attached to beta cell so this is a beta cell it has a beta cell has a receptor so it has a receptor for Epstein-Barr virus which is present on the surface of the beta cell and this receptor is known as CD21 receptor this CD21 receptor is also known as complement receptor type 2 so when Epstein-Barr virus attaches to CD21 receptor with the help of LMP1 protein this will send a signal to the nucleus now once the signal is sent to the nucleus nucleus uh, nuclear transcription factor kappa beta will get activated so nuclear fact nuclear transcription factor kappa beta once activated this will cause overexpression of CREL proto oncogene okay so overexpression of CREL proto oncogene will convert the B cell into neoplastic B cell this neoplastic B cell it has a characteristic appearance that is you will see red reed Sternberg cell reed Sternberg cell has mirror like nuclei it looks like an owl eye appearance so this owl eye appearance is due to eosinophilic prominent nucleoli so this owl eye appearance is because of eosinophilic prominent nucleo nuclei but this reed Sternberg cell they are not diagnostic when it is present alone so when it is alone when only reed Sternberg cell is present it is not diagnostic and it is also seen in infectious mononucleosis it is also seen in Hodgkin's lymphoma and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in non-Hodgkin's lymphoma it is most commonly seen in DLBL that is immunoblastic non-Hodgkin's lymphoma this owl eye appearance this owl eye appearance is not only seen in reed Sternberg cell it is also seen in cytomegal cytomegalovirus infection so owl eye appearance is seen in reed Sternberg cell as well as in cytomegalovirus but the only difference is that in reed Sternberg cell uh, this reed Sternberg cell there is eosinophilic prominent nuclei whereas in cytomegalovirus in cytomegalovirus there will be basophilic intranuclear inclusion which is seen in the nucleus as well as in the cytoplasm so these are 
basophilic intranuclear inclusion which is seen in cytomegalovirus infection so now how will you diagnose histologically Hodgkin's lymphoma so histological diagnosis of Hodgkin's lymphoma involves the presence of a rich Sternbuck cell which is a neoplastic cell along with along with mixed inflammation like neutrophil lymphocyte eosinophil basophil and a monocyte on the background so this mixed inflammation is present in the background and these are the non neoplastic cell so this is a short uh, rapid revision of this topic and i hope to see you in the next class